Remember that this is the same man that worked on air. Now, even though this happened around 2015, now I want you to think critically as you watch this video. Think. As you're watching right now, pay attention to the sounds of the footstep. As the video itself starts, you're going to be hearing only the sounds of his footstep based on his shoes and the stairs. But when the camera goes close to him or before the camera goes close to his leg to show that he's actually levitating on air, you will hear that there are many more footstep sounds in that same room, meaning that the fact that they are showing you or they have shown you around to see that there is no one to show you that it's actually an intentional video made to look like he walked on air at the time that he gets to float on air like you see right now there are people actually there holding him up and then they later leave while he himself steps forward to make it look like hey nothing happened or would i say he was the one that actually worked on air now watch it yourself following this particular thought pattern Now, I want you to observe something. What you see right here at this point is the shadow of the door that you see at the entrance. Okay, so uh, help had to come from that particular door to help him with his own floating whatever. And then someone had to come from the left side, your left side as you're watching me right now, of the house to help him out. So at the point of this right now, you will notice that as the camera zooms out, this particular shadow disappears, showing that the door itself closes so the person comes in helps him from that other side and then someone helped from the other side inside the house then the person went outside the house you understand just for you to see that this was just a simple trick but people actually believe that so this is the raw footage you are looking at right now Now I had to repeat that sound so you hear the sound of the door yourself. <laughs> and you do not see these things right here, the way I'm seeing them. What is the essence of your pastor making a video in his house? Okay, you don't see <laughs> walking on air. What impression does that give to you? Superman. So when you have been watching all these, even all these Marvel Studios don't cash out for your head. Black Panther, Superman, uh, which other one again? All of these things right here are to show you the superhuman ability that some people have different from others. So once you're able to see this difference between you and someone else, already you put that person on a pedestal. They have some form of influence or control over you, either your emotions or the fear they can put in you or the glory they can get from you to them. But where does this point to the person of Jesus? Oh, someone will say in the comment, oh, because Jesus did, you are going to do greater, according to what the Bible says. You are going, greater, greater, greater work shall you do. Walking on air? Even that itself, come on, come on. Even the Americans had to, <laughs> he, he, that, that video went viral. But that's not the reason what, I, what I'm talking about today. This same Bushiri right here, to show you the great success that comes with the religious industry. Some of you, you are in churches where they sell you Bethesda water, uh, God General water, uh, 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 Jerusalem water, uh, Okokomaiko water, all the types of water. But according to Bushiri, when once you buy his water, you are carrying his anointing to your house. Hallelujah! Listen to him right here. He started losing power. Form started coming out of his mouth. You were silent. 
Just like that. He went silent, just like that. He died. He died. He died. Yes. And I was wondering him. You has nothing. But the anointing that breaks every shackle of death proved to be powerful that day. Death was rendered powerless. Oh, death, where is thy sting? They used the Lion of Judah, Daddy. The Lion of Judah? Lion of Judah. Lion of Judah, Daddy. I told you, you cannot take him into your house. But you can take him anointing through the anointing water to your house. Through the anointing oil to your house. And that was a testimony right there from someone who is purported to have a, <laughs> some of these things you people see in church. Most of them, these testimonies, they are staged. You people don't know. You don't know. But me, hey, the, the least I can do is add volume. If you like, believe me. If you like, don't believe me. But you see this thing I'm doing? One day. When your eye will open, when you become a victim and not a victor, <laughs> because you are seeing people right there as victors when you are sitting there in the audience. Yeah, Papa, yeah, Papa. Asasha no nisi, eji nisi no ngogare. Lori ro, Lori what? Iro. The same person. I'm just giving you the chronicles of Bushiri. The same person that said someone came with uh, I, with the uh, uh, complaint that the child is missing, and he snapped the air. <laughs> if I the men look at look at how they are using even modern technology to deceive you, and he was he, he said he was going to get the picture of the child with using the camera. Mm -mm. Did you hear him saying that uh, who has an iPad? I, I'm, I'm wondering why he didn't take one from the back because he wants us to believe that this was a random iPad that he would use. So the miracle is that the man of God has supernatural power to capture the picture of anyone that he wants spiritually using an iPad. Well, I don't know why he has to use an iPad. I don't know why he didn't just say appear and the face would appear. Should I use it? Should I capture the picture? So now I want you guys to pay attention to how the man of God captures someone's picture spiritually. Wow, I'm done. I'm, that's it. Rewind that thing. I, is it that I'm not seeing correctly with my Koro Koro eyes? Did you guys not see him double tap on the picture gallery? <laughs> that picture was already saved on the iPad. Even he knows it. Didn't you see how he was smiling? He knew that he just deceived those people. Do you see people crying? See, I give up on Africans. I'm capturing the wife now. Who sent you? If I smack you, if I give you one dirty slap like this, you will wake up. Nonsense. Okay, let me see how he captured the wife. Ah, Baba. You did that just happen? Seriously? Did you notice that this time around he backed the camera because we saw when he double tapped on that. But as soon as the picture came up, he stood in front of the camera. He actually came and stood in front of the camera. Please let me know what you think about this. As for me, I'm tired. In fact, I give up. And he, could, he took someone's iPad there. And see, those people that are always sitting in front in the church, that's why Benny Hen would say that you cannot be in his gathering. You sit in front and then you are not responding to... To, to, to what is going on. So those people should be at the back. Just like Bonner Boy would be singing and saying that there are some people that should not be in front. Some of you that follow secular stuff. Because I follow everything. I, I analyze trends. That those of you that are not his true fans that cannot sing to his song should be at the back. All right? So there was a time he was performing. He had to give someone back his uh, money that he paid for the show because the person wasn't responding to the vibe he was giving them. Those people that sit in front, they have one task. And one task for them is to respond to everything because they're the one that the camera is on. So pastor can even do like this and all of them will fall. Can do all of them will fall. <laughs> Why? Because that is what they are. Some of them are like stooges. Those are the 
ones that come on. Pastor will just go near them small. They will be the ones standing immediately. I'm not against that. It's the practice, the Pentecostal practice. It's okay, wonderful. You, don't see, you will not see that in the orthodox circles where <laughs> preacher just maybe comes down from stage and everybody in the front stand. Some of you see it, it happens in your church. Don't tell me you don't know. But what point am I trying to make here? These tricks that are happening in the church are meant to show you that the man himself is something special. He has this particular power. He has this particular whatever. And you are not thinking yet. Even when people like me will come and, because when you are there at the presence or watching online, you do not see it like that. But some of us come to watch the videos later, sit down and then scrutinize them because of the era we are right now. You cannot afford to be stupid in this era. Never. So whatever I put out there on media is scrutinized, it's fact-checked. And I'm going to fact-check a lot of things right here. When I'm doing my videos and doing matchups here and there, I know what I'm doing because I'm intentionally trying to communicate something to you that you must have to understand. But some of you don't want to understand. And I don't blame you. If you cannot see things the way I see, <laughs> you will never see them. What am I trying to make you understand in watching me talk about these people right now? The religious industry is a multi-billion industry. Let me teach you the format. Some of you that are, because those are, some of those watching me right now, they are pastors. They are also under the same ministry. Some of you are children of these men. I'm going to see people in the comments. So just give me all the water, water. I love reading the comments. It even gives me more ideas to know how you people think. Number one. Religion. 